What's going on boys and girls, what's up world? Austin John plays here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how you can get yourself pretty much both box legendary Pokemon in your copy of Ultra Sun or Ultra Moon. Now, I do wanna go on record and say that in one game, you're not going to be able to get both box legendaries to evolve within one game without trading. However, I'm gonna be showing you a strategy that way you can get two of the same box legendary Pokemon and that you can trade it over to the other game and everyone trades them over all the time. It's a really common thing. Also, in the midst of that, you're gonna get yourself a Nebby, which is pretty awesome. So in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon, soon as you get access to Mount Lanakila, you can get your own legendary Pokemon. On your way up, you're probably gonna encounter Necrozma and stuff. However, you're not actually going to get the other necessary box legendary. So the trick is, after you get access to Mount Lanakila, you need to make your way back to Icky Town, you know, where you first started on the first island. Next, you're gonna go to the Mahalo Trial. And by the way, this information I'm telling you right now, it was totally told you in the game, but you probably just button mashed A throughout all of the text that was actually important to actually know about this like I did so uh so you're welcome <laughs> and here obviously I'm playing Ultra Moon and Lunala is just kind of chilling here next to Lily Austin John I've been waiting to thank you for saving Nebby that day Mahina P Mahina P I wanted you to face Nebby as only a trainer can so obviously save a game before the encounter couple things here one during this battle Obviously, you want to try to catch Nebby or Lunala, whatever. I'm not too sure the specifics, but I believe if you lock, if you knock out Lunala or Sogaleo and Ultra Sun, um, after you re-encounter the Elite Four, you can come back. You know what? Let's knock out Lunala and see what happens. Okay, Lunala is down. I did not get experience for that. That was weird. Oh, nothing happens. You just get to re-encounter it. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, so you could do no harm here. You don't get experience for defeating Lunala or anything else like that. I guess because Lily's there, Lily's like, I'm gonna heal you up. You're fine now. Obviously, turn one, you want to throw a quick ball, try to get it in that first catch. I didn't go great. Now, Necrozma in this game has a higher catch rate than he normally does because he's your box legendary. However, Lunala and Sogaleo do not have an increased catch rate, so pretty much they're regular legendary Pokemon. Like you need to knock them down to one HP, you need to throw your balls at its face, you need to inflict a status condition as good as you can. Um, I'm just gonna do this. Boop. Why do I use my Master Ball? Well, I'm recording a video right now and I don't have that much time to waste. In addition to that, I have a bad habit of playing through a game and never using my Master Ball. So, might as well use it. The only nickname appropriate for Lunala? Perfect. Nebby belongs with you, Austin John, now. You're like a parent, and it's like a child, and it's great, and awesome, and take care of Nebby, and become stronger. And we are going to get the Lunalium Z for Lunala Z move, that's awesome. Now that we have our box legendary, which you do not need Necrozma in order to do this, you only need your box legendary, we are going to go to the Ultra Wormhole. Now, if you have not had your box legendary in your party when approaching the Ultra Wormhole, you're gonna be surprised, because now there's a new option, which is, Go to the reverse world, which is kind of like the upside down from Stranger Things. Yeah, kind of kind of exactly like that. If in your 3DS settings, it is daytime, it appears as nighttime in Ultra Moon. However, in the reverse world, the nighttime is reversed and it appears as daytime, so it appears as the accurate time. In Ultra Sun, the daytime in the reverse world is now the nighttime. Great, 10.55 PM. So right now it is nighttime, and now that it is nighttime, the game believes that it is daytime. However, because it's daytime in the reverse world, it's now nighttime, which is what you need to do this. So in Ultra Moon, this can only be done in nighttime. In Ultra Sun, this can only be done at daytime, as per your 3DS settings. Now, we're going to make our way to Ulla Ulla Island, and we are going to go to Route 16. And actually, let's zoom in a little bit right here. So from Route 16, if you scroll up, here's the meadow, and then here's some place that you may have not visited before. That's the lake. We're going to go to the lake right now. So here at the Lake of the Moon, we're just pretty much going to go straight forward. Keep going straight, keep going straight, straight as you can, go all the way straight, yeah. If you're in the reverse world, in your 3DS settings at nighttime in Ultra Moon, or during 
daytime in Ultra Sun, we're going to approach the altar. And as you approach the altar, your legendary Pokemon is going to pop out. If you are doing this at the wrong time of day, very important, if you're doing this at the wrong time of the day, it's going to say that you sense a presence and you cannot walk to the altar. In which case you want to stop, save your game right there, change your 3DS's internal settings. I'm making this very clear because in Sun and Moon it was a pretty much identical process and there were just so many comments of just like, wait, I think I'm doing this wrong. And they were doing it wrong. So that's why I'm breaking it down a little bit more. I'm in Ultra Moon, so Galio is going to appear out of nowhere. They're going to look up at the sky. And it's a Cosmog. Yes, I want to take Cosmog with me. Pew pew. Give it an appropriate nickname, and perfect. And then you obtain the Sogalium Z that Cosmog was holding. And the Sogalium Z is obviously for Sogalio. Now, just to be super duper clear right now, if you are playing Ultra Moon, this Cosmog will become a Lunala. And if you are playing Ultra Sun and you have Sogalio, you're going to get a Cosmog, and when it evolves, it's going to evolve into a Sogalio. So you're going to have two of the same legendary Pokemon. I believe Nintendo did this that way. Basically, you get your second one's level up right, and then once its level is high enough, and it evolves into your box legendary, you go to the GTS and you trade it for the opposite legendary Pokemon that you already just got the Z-Crystal for, which makes the most sense. In fact, you know what? Let's go do that right now. All right, awesome. So now we have Nebby's level up to 51. This is one level, or sorry, two levels before it evolves into our box legendary. Level 53, let's evolve our Nebby here. Boom, Lunala. By the way, if you need some uh, some recommendations on how to get your Pokemon's level up really easy, there's a card in the top right corner. Boop, I know the guy who made the video. Awesome. So now, we have Nebby, and we have Big Nebby here. Now we're gonna make our way to the Festival Plaza. Let's go trade the GTS, perfect. Now, I'm gonna put money on th that when, if I look for a Sogaleo, there will be people offering a Sogaleo looking for a Lunala, and at that point, it's just simple as pie. If not, you could always just throw up your box legendary and get the one that you're looking for. People are trading it all the time. It's a hot commodity here on the GTS. Seek Pokemon, we are looking for a Sogaleo. Hope I spelled that right. Great. First one. So Galio, looking for a Lunala. Let's go in here. Let's grab a Lunala. Trade it away. And just like that, boom. How you get both legendaries. Bye, Nebby. You were, you were great. You were great with all your splashing. That was a beautiful screen. That's pretty much what this game is about right there. Now, just going on record to say that if you own Pokemon Sun and Ultra Moon, if you take that Cosmium and trade it into Sun, it will evolve into a Sogaleo. If you take, if you have Pokemon Moon and Ultra Sun, you can take it there, trade it there, it'll become a Lunala and you can trade it back with yourself. You're good to go. Ugh. There's also a good chance that if you're looking for a Cos, that you could put in your Cosmium or, um, or, or just any Nebby form that you can get the box legendary. However, this obviously is, is is a little bit better. So let's take a look, and then boom, there we go. We have a Sogalio and a Lunala, and the Sogalio is level 55. So obviously, someone just did pretty much the same thing. So yeah, there we go, guys. That is how to get yourself Nebby and both box legendary Pokemon in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Psst. Hey. Hey you. Have you heard about the Austin John Blaze Mythical Pokemon giveaway? That's right, last year we did it and we gave out over 70 Mythical Pokemon throughout three drawings that we did. Thank you for all the support to the channel since then. We're gonna be doing it again. You can win your choice of whatever legendary or mythical Pokemon that you want, legitimately obtain, and no hacked Pokemon here. To be eligible, be sure to drop a like on this video, comment down below on this video on who you want to win, subscribe to the channel, and to stay up to dates, be sure to click that bell, turn on notifications. Be sure to follow me on Twitter as we're going to be listing the winners on December 28th. Thank you all for the overwhelming support to the channel that we've gotten in the last year, and this is my way of showing thanks. Till next time, 
Austin John out. Be sure to like this video and subscribe. I'm going to be giving you guys lots of helpful videos in the next following days and weeks. Till next time, Austin John out.